Hey, water signs, you're up. Thank you for clicking on this video. We are going to tap into the energies of water signs. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio for their love reading for this weekend, okay? Please keep in mind that this reading is general. The energies are fluid and the message is timeless, okay? All right, water signs, let's, let's see what's going on with you. For this weekend regarding love. Let's see. I hope you all are doing well. I hope you guys are in your phenomenal energy. But let's see what's going on with you. Regarding love. Holy Spirit, holy angels. <laughs> Here we have new vitality. Ooh. There's a new energy in love. Okay, this is this is an energy of you feeling. It's making me feel like new love. Um, it's like the beginning stages of meeting somebody. They're making you feel all the tinglys inside. And then we have detach at the bottom of the deck, which is the justice energy. And then we have the hermit energy. Okay. All right. Well, justice in the hermit. Yeah. It's like you decided on new love here. Yeah. You decided on a new energy of going after what it is that you that you that you feel it feels romantic it feels um it feels it feels like a release with this detach i feel the release and detach that you have and this is um you're releasing the det and detaching in order for you to have some type of balance within yourself in a connection okay what is supporting this leading energy holy spirit Yep, we have travel. Well, that's too many. Uh-uh. I'm not reading all that. But I've seen travel and career, but mm -mm. we're not we're not needing we're not reading all of that. Let's get one. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We have finding. Uh-huh. Some of you guys have found a new love or a new energy regarding love here. It's making me feel like a new person entering your life and it gave you a boost here. And then we have peace at the bottom of the deck. Yes. Oh yes. You're releasing the old and bringing in the new. Let's get a challenge in your connection. What challenges is my water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, is facing this weekend? Thank you. Well, how many is this? Okay, I'll take them. It's three. We have retreat. It's a challenge. It says it's time to disconnect from the world. That is a challenge. We have passion. That is a challenge. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. That is a challenge. And then we have chemistry. What is a challenge? It says there is a strong magnetic magnetic attraction here. This is making me feel old. With this new vitality, you're releasing the old and bringing in the new. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, express your love. It's a challenge here. It says go ahead and make the romantic gestures. You see, it is something that is keeping you from falling into this new energy or it's some type of resistance that you're um going through it's like you're not too sure i would want to say it's like you you want to fall all in love but it's something that is stopping you from doing that okay it could be someone that is stopping you from just going whole hulk into this new energy or this new connection here okay um, let's see. What can you tell me, Holy Spirit? What energy do you have? What message do you have? Ooh, okay. What What is this? The King of Coins. Some of you guys could be married. Some of you guys could be in a solid, stable relationship already. Some of you guys are CEOs, managers, supervisors at your job. So your financial status is 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 supported but this is giving me a family man energy here so some of you guys could be already in a family connection here but with this new vitality and love it's the reason why chemistry is a challenge retreat is a challenge because you're already involved in another connection but you found or you're um falling into something new something more i want to say exciting <laughs> okay all right holy spirit what can you tell me One more. Thank you. Five of coins. The loss and lack. Yeah. Okay. Some of you guys. Hmm. We have the wheel of fortune at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. Um, it's making me feel like some of you. Um, I just heard Scorpio. Some of you water signs is leaving a situation. 
or relationship behind here something that you have established and that you have grown that you have invested in something that you have built but but this lack energy is is making me feel like you lost your 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 handle your hold on something that you build or connection or relationship or this could be a loss of a job as well okay uh-huh some of you guys could be quitting the job walking away from a job here Okay, but something that you had a hold of is a lack of a loss. We have the Knight of Coins here. It be, could be because something else is new coming in. So you're going to have to leave one situation or one um, connection in order to embark on a new here. Um, but it's, you're going towards it here. But you, you, you know that there is something or someone that you're going to have to leave behind. What is this? The five of wands, yeah. Conflict and competition here. Five, five, there's changes here. You see what I'm saying? Um, you, some of you guys are coming to that realization that you have to do this. Or it's going to be an issue that has forced your hand to do this. Okay? The sun energy, Leo energy at the bottom of the, of the deck. Truth and clarity. This is what you want to go towards. Hell yeah, the emperor here. Aries energy and temperance. It's making me feel like... We have a, a lot oh, a lot of earth energy here. So you could be dealing with an earth sign or you can have earth heavily in your chart, which is Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. But um, this is giving me a hesitation energy. Like you want to go towards something that you know that you could be the king of pinnacles with or something that is well established or something that you want to establish here. But it, there's some type of lack of loss around you that you're going to have to endure or, or you're going to have to initiate in order to go towards it with the Nine of Pentacles. You're taking your time. You're really methodical about what it is that you want to go towards here. But you're conflicted and confused about if it is the right choice is what I'm hearing. Okay, let's, let's get some more. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what else can you tell me? One more? Okay, I got it. I'll take it. The Eight of Coins. It's a lot of money around you. It's a lot of value around you. You put a lot of time, energy, and effort into becoming this King of Pentacles, but it's making me feel like you're going to have to release something or let go of something or someone in order to move for forward towards something or someone that is new. Okay, now hair fit energy. I told you it's a lot of earth. This is um earth uh Taurus energy so you could have Taurus heavily in your chart but this is rejecting this is also to rejecting spiritual enlightenment that you are being given here this is why that five five is here because it's it's a, it's a change it's a rapid change that's what I'm feeling it's making me feel like some of you guys are married here and you got a choice or a decision whether you're going to stay married or go okay but it's something that you want to invest in here what is this the six of wands feeling victorious this is um feeling a I'm feeling a little ego here but this is victory after a conflict so the five of wands went to the six of wands so you will figure this out here um it's a lot of challenges that you're going through a lot of changes that you're going within yourself but you're trying to stay on stable ground here yeah it's kind of making me feel like for some of you guys, the worry of a connection you're releasing because it's you, you, you satisfied. Okay. What is this? The eight of cups. Mm, you're releasing here because you're satisfied. You're going towards your nine of cups here, walking away emotionally. Um, it could be something. It could be. Okay. I heard you spirit. There's a change in realization that's going on with you, whether what it is that you want what it is that you require and desire in life. Something, it's like a, a powerful realization but grounds you, okay? You could be finding out what it is that keeps you grounded or that is giving you that grounding energy. It, it, it's, it's because of changes in decisions that you're making here. This is what I'm getting. Holy Spirit, let's clarify the king of coins here. <clears throat> well, can you tell me about the king of coins, please? This could be you or this could be somebody about you, okay? One more, thank you. Let the king, the queen of cups in reverse. Somebody is emotionally unstable here. 
somebody is now using their intuition as well uh, it's, it's, lo it's loss of love here with this five of pentacles and this queen of cups here this is probably why you're going towards something new because somebody could have um i heard given up on this connection with you this is why or you could have given up on a connection with somebody so you're moving towards something new or someone new let's clarify the five of coins in reverse i mean no oh, okay uh -huh. i said in reverse but it's in the upright but it came off naturally so it could be a five of coins in reverse i mean i'm not trying to call no cards but that's the energy that's here let's clarify the five of coins please holy spirit i'll take it the tower might as well be the five of coins in reverse you see what i'm saying this is an upheaval this is a loss here this is something that that is out of your control the emperor and the queen of wands and the um page of page of swords here so um this is aries energy so this could be you taking back control or trying to control someone or something that you're very attracted to um something that is exciting here um this is a, a sudden change a sudden change in energy to go towards a um, new vitality something that's new coming in let's clarify the knight of coins please okay thank you we have two yeah the chariot and the seven of wands being very defensive here about the direction that you're going in the decision that you made um this is balanced within yourself to move forward and you're very very um defensive about it it's making me feel like a a decision is solid and final yeah you looking out to see what else is out there or are you looking to see what else is coming in towards you yeah Let's see. Let's clarify the five of wands. Let's clarify the five of wands, please. The hermit Virgo energy here. Going inside yourself to find yourself. There's some type of confliction or confusion within yourself about the decision that you're going to make moving forward here. Uh, Honda Star energy, Aquarian energy at the bottom of the deck. And the three of pentacles and the two of wands so there's a decision that you're going to make and you're being very stubborn about it here um but you're finding out what it is that you actually want to go towards or what it is that you actually want to bring in towards you okay let's clarify the eight of coins please let's clarify the eight of coins one more page of wands good news coming in so you guys could have some type of good news about or you could have some type of good news coming in towards you about something that you put a lot of time energy and effort into something that you're working on here and um yeah there's some type of good news coming about it coming from it um they're feeling very nostalgic here about a third party or it could be feeling very nostalgic about the happier times in life this is the why the new vitality and finding is here because you want to rekindle or research or have a resurgence of happiness and joy here okay um this is also to a reconciliation energy so you could be trying to reconcile with somebody from your past let's clarify the six of wands please i see this jumper we have the eight of wands some type of fast movement coming in or some type of communication is coming in that you feel victorious that is good news that you're glad to hear from this person you're glad to receive this information you're glad to understand or know something here we have the devil and then the judgment and then the death damn This is waking up and realizing the error of your ways. We have the death and the devil. This is some low vibing as energy that you got some type of enlightenment about. This could be you. This information has came into you very quickly. So whatever it was that you thought that you were victorious about, this is feeling like guilt and regret here. That you ended something, that you understand something, um, that you realize your toxic ways or some type of toxic um, energy around you hence the reason why the eight of cups is here 
okay something low vibe in here this could be you or, the, or yours this could be yourself or somebody that's around you but it's making me feel like you're understanding your toxic ways about a connection or a relationship because this hermit energy is here this is going to size yourself to find yourself okay let's clarify the eight of cups let's clarify the eight of cups please and thank you i'll take the first one Page of Cups, going towards new love. This is also, too, forgiving yourself from walking away from a person, place, or thing. The Hierophant and the Eight of Swords here. You could be feeling like you were stuck in a commitment or a marriage or something like that, but you're finally releasing yourself to move towards something new, something that's more um, exciting. This is what I'm feeling here with the star energy here. Yeah. Yeah. But this is this is this is the eight of cups in the patient cups is the nine of cups this is a new love that you walk going towards or a new resurgence of love or a new energy regarding love now this could be a re new resurgence resurgence within the connection that you already in you're just walking away from your bullshit of self in order for you to discover new love within yourself within the connection or you could just or this is you just leaving a connection behind period and going towards something new okay all right holy spirit what advice do you have perfect timing now it's the perfect time to make that decision and to make that move what else can you tell me <laughs> not the right time <laughs> yeah perfect timing and not the right time you're doing it too fast you're moving too fast yeah meditation brings answers you're not too sure not too clear about what it is that you're that you're wanting here this is a back and forth energy this is like um a energy of It's making me feel like you know that this is for you, but you're not ready for it. Yeah, you know that this is for you, but you're not ready for it. Let's get let's get one more. Thank you. Get more information. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. You need to get more information about your situation. And then it's up to you. So it's up to you whether you're going to take time to get more information and understanding but it's really up to you here. It's it's like a perfect situation at the wrong time. A perfect situation at the wrong time. There's some more that you need to understand about yourself in, in this connection, okay? All right, water signs. This is what I have for you. I'm going to leave it right here. I hope these messages help. And I will see you in the next video, okay? Till then, take care. Bye.